This is the first video in a series that is going to try to help you build a 3D virtual model of the V5 Clawbot using Autodesk Inventor 2019. Now the process we're going to follow will be very similar to how you built the Clawbot from the build instructions with the kit. We are going to start by building the chassis. We'll fasten it together with uh, the nuts and the bolts. We'll add motors, we'll add wheels, we'll complete the basic speed build with the brain and the battery, and then we'll continue past the speed build by adding the tower supports and the components of the four bar parallel arm. And finally, we'll end the project by adding the claw kit onto the end of the robot. Once you have Autodesk Inventor open, the first thing you need to do is to create a new project file. Projects are how Autodesk Inventor organize, well, organizes the different things you are working on. It's best to have a separate project for each new thing you are doing. To do so, I'm gonna go up here to the top ribbon under Get Started and go to the Projects tab. I'm going to uh, create a new one. You can see here I have a number of them. Uh, one of them is a test project I was using to play around with the V5 Clawbot. Uh, we will create a new one. It will be a single user project, not a vault project. Uh, we need to give the project a name, something descriptive. Uh, your last name might be a good choice to put into this. But for now, I am just going to call this V5 Clawbot. Now, Inventor will create a workspace. That is a folder where it will keep all the files for your project. This needs to be on your local computer. It just makes things easier than working on our network. By default, it will place it in the Documents folder, in an Inventor folder, and then in a folder with your project's name. I just need to click Finish. Had a, if you click through with Next, you get options to add some libraries, which we don't need to do for this project. You end up clicking Finished anyway. It will ask if it should create it. Please click OK. And now you see you have a new project. Might be one of your only ones called V5 Clawbot. And on the main screen in Inventor, if you scroll through your list of projects, you will see one for the V5 Clawbot. And it's very important that you leave the check beside it so that it is the active project. Now that we have our project started and we have a project file in place, we need to uh, get the parts that we're going to use ready. Now the parts can either be downloaded from Google Classroom or you can get them from me directly. Uh, it's a zip file, a compressed folder called B5Clawbot Parts 2019. Now to install these, uh, just double click on the part. Okay, and up here on the top bar, just click on Extract All Files. We need to select a location for these files. Now, click the Browse button, go to your uh, Documents folders, Go to the Inventor folder inside of there, and you should find one with your project name. If I scroll down here, I will find V5 Clawbot. That is the folder where I need to place these files. So now that I have it selected, I'll just click on OK. I'm going to go ahead and let it show me the extracted files so I can show you. And here are the folders containing the different parts. If you click through them, you can see, for instance, different parts. Here's some bolts and C-channel parts, and they are placed inside of the V5 Clawbot folder that is in your Inventor folder. 